एवरी वन इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट सेक्स डिटर्मिनेशन इन ह्यूम इन आर प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट मेल एंड फीमेल हेट्रोगेमिटी ऑल्सो वी डिस्कस अबाउट दैट इन ह्यूम देयर इज मेल हेट्रोगेमिटी विच इज सीन वॉट डज दिस मेल हेट्रोगेमिटी मीन्स दैट इट इज गोइंग टू बी द जेंडर इज गोइंग टू बी द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ मेल ओके that is the male heterogamity for you if you miss previous class please sug i suggest you to go and watch it so that the base of it is going to be very clear to you now before starting this topic uh, i'll give you a little brief that uh, in a human cell how many chromosomes are there so we know that in humans there are 23 pairs of chromosomes which are present we can also call it as 46 out of these 23 pairs 22 pairs are known as autosomes which are actually common in both fem uh, males and females okay common next is going to be the 23rd pair which is going to be called as the sex chromosome it is not same in male and female in males the chromosome the 23rd pair is going to be xy and in females it is going to be xx so this is what we are going to be studying now let's take a situation here to understand it better i'll be taking two parents okay parent 1 which is male will be having xy chromosome in as the 23rd pair we are not talking about the other 22 pairs because they are same we are just focusing on the last pair to determine the sex of the child okay and the parent 2 is there who is having a female chromosomal set which is x and x clear now the next thing that you have to understand is that in a male there is a process known as spermatogenesis by which the sperms are produced and in females there is a process known as oogenesis by which the ova are or the eggs are formed so let's see that how and what they are going to give now suppose if male is forming sperms these are two male gametes or i can call it as sperm also so one of which will be having x and one of the sperm will be having a chromosome y similarly if i talk about a female one of the x will be having a chromosome as x and one of the x will be having again x clear now let me solve it using a punnett square we already know what punnett square is so i'll be just quickly drawing it here chromosome or the gametes of one parents i'll be writing here let me write the male one here and the female one here clear now let's see the possibilities that we will be having number 1 is going to be x x number 2 is going to be again x x if i talk about the next case the number third case is going to be i'm sorry if i talk about the next case third case x from here y from here clear fourth case x from here and y from here this is going to be the situation now if i talk about the first offspring what is the possibility what is the gender yes the gender is going to be a girl as she is having both chromosomes as x and x if i talk about this case again the offspring is going to be a girl third case is it going to be a girl or a boy the offspring is going to be a boy why boy because now we see that the person is having 23rd pair as x and y y is the one which determines the you know the person is going to be a boy or a girl if in the last case we talk about it is again going to be the same boy 
clear now can i just write it like this that there is 50% possibility of a couple to either have a girl child or a boy child see sorry one possibility here and one possibility here so there is going to be a 50 50 chance that the person will be having either a boy or a girl as their baby so the conclusion of this a uh, topic is going to be that it is the sperm that determines the genetic makeup of a baby it is not the egg or the female for that matter which determines the gender of a child it is the sperm that determines the genetic makeup of the offspring that is to be born also there are topic wise worksheets available kindly leave a comment in the comment section if you wish to avail the same So don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below. Also hit the bell icon so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you.